15 years ago, I, I was told there was nothing left. No reason, no uh, conscience, no understanding, and even the most rudimentary sense of life or death, of, of good or evil, right or wrong. I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. I spent eight years trying to reach him and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. I watched him for 15 years sitting in a room, staring at a wall, not seeing the wall, looking past the wall, looking at this night in humanly patient, waiting for some secret silent alarm to trigger him off. Death has come to your little town, Sheriff. You can either ignore it or you can help me to stop it.
I tell you, Michael is alive. I, I can feel his evil heart beating. I can see him just as I did all those years ago behind these very same walls, staring, staring, always growing stronger. Teen years I've been obsessed to find out what was going on inside of him. It's been my life work and my ultimate failure. This force, this thing that lived inside of him came from a source too violent, too deadly for you to imagine. It, it grew inside him, contaminating his soul. It was pure evil. This house is sacred to him. He has all his memories here. His rage. Michael Myers has come back to Haddonfield to kill. It's all over. 